Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm showing you how to use the stopwatch command in Minecraft. This command can be used to create stopwatches which can track time. So for example this command over here will start a stopwatch of 10 seconds and after 10 seconds you'll see that this command log over here will power and you'll see that exactly 10 seconds have passed. So if you like Minecraft videos like this one then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials just like this one in the future. So let us start with the basic stopwatch command. This command was introduced in Minecraft Snapshot 25W41A for Minecraft Java Edition, along with the Nautilus and the Spears. And the way to use it is to type in slash stopwatch, and then the name you want to give this stopwatch or the ID, but a name is also fine. So let's say you want to give this stopwatch the name tutorial like this that is perfectly fine then you have four options for the stopwatch you can either create it you can query it you can remove it and you can restart it so of course since this one doesn't exist none of these will work you will just have to create it so let's create the stopwatch stopwatch tutorial create and press enter now you will just see create a stopwatch minecraft tutorial but you won't see anything else so what you can do now is you can run stopwatch now it's here in this list, so Minecraft tutorial. You can now query it, so that means that it shows you how long it's been running. So it's been running for 29 seconds here. But you can also restart it. So you can do a restart, and then if you query it again, you can see that it has now restarted, set back to zero, and it's counting from zero again. So there we go. And then the final option here is to remove the stopwatch if you do this, and then try to query it, it will see that it doesn't exist anymore. We just removed it, so that doesn't work. So that means you would have to create it again, just like this. But what else can you do with the stopwatch command? Well, you already saw that I could detect if a certain amount of time had passed. How did I do that? Well, this over here just creates a new stopwatch. This one removes it. But the important part is the new execute option. You can now also execute if or unless stopwatch. So how does this work? You do slash execute if stopwatch then you can of course select a stopwatch so let's do a tutorial and then you can have a range so if the stopwatch is within a certain range you can do something so for example you can say if the stopwatch is larger than 10 do this or if the stopwatch is larger than 100 do this or if the stopwatch is smaller than 100 then run say stopwatch hasn't reached 100 seconds now it doesn't execute here because it has reached 100 seconds, but if we now restart our stopwatch like this and then run the execute command again, you will see indeed stopwatch hasn't reached 100 seconds. And so this is exactly what this command over here does. It's execute if stopwatch 10 seconds, that's just the name of that stopwatch. And if that is greater than 10 seconds, it will run say 10 seconds have passed, just like this. And it will also activate this comparator after 10 seconds, which activates the redstone lamp and then also removes the stopwatch again. So that's exactly what happens after 10 seconds. It will execute the command block and also it will fire the comparator, as you saw right there. So in that way, you can actually add cool timers to your world using this new stopwatch command. Now, if you have any questions about this command, then please leave them in the comments down below. But anyway, there we go. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please subscribe.